Hello, Happy New Year to you all and to your families. So it's been a really long time since I last released a video on my channel. And today I'm going to be teaching you all how to get better sound from your Sony WH-1000XM3. So we're going to be doing this by uh, using an, a 20 band equalizer. There is a free app, free Android app. And then there's also, uh, there, I also teach you how to change your Bluetooth settings to ensure higher transmission quality and also how to tweak, how to adjust some settings on the Sony headphones app. So recently I got interested in music and audio file gear and well th this is not exactly audio file gear but I mean there's other stuff. Yeah but anyways for these headphones I started using these I think before COVID started, the year before COVID started and I've been using it since. And I think it's quite a good headphone, it's comfortable, the noise cancelling is great, the sound quality it needs a bit of refinement and tweaking, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So this here is the Equalizer Buddy app, which you can get for free from the Google Play Store. So there are various things you can do with this app, as you can see here, and this... Okay, you have to set your band frequencies to standard, if you are tuning this Sony headphone. Because it's a single driver headphone. So. As you can see, this is how you can adjust. So let's say what happens if I pull it down. This means that when the, the this app will tweak the music that you're playing, so it reduce all those frequencies close to 31 hertz, which is the like very low bass. We reduce the, the the volume by around seven decibels, while keeping everything else the same. So the bass becomes relatively softer compared to the rest of the music. So that's how an equalizer kind of works. You can also boost it, or you can reduce it. So that's how you adjust these for uh, the different frequencies. And okay, so let's just let me just show you my the final setting that I've arrived at for my Sony headphones, this particular model. So you, you got to actually turn it on for it to work, uh, so that it kicks into effect. As you can see, I have found 125 hertz in particular to be a bit too bassy. Uh, like I mean, no, it's, it's not a bit too bassy. It's just overemphasized by the headphone. So when I play a, a, a track, a music track, I find there's too much of this booming, boomy sounds. So I have reduced that volume, that's one of the most significant changes that I did for the headphone. And then after that, I found uh, the frequencies 2.8 kilohertz and 5.7 kilohertz to be a bit irritating and fit fatiguing to hear. So after listening for too long, those female singers, they when they hit those high notes, you just your ears just start to hurt a little bit. So that's why I've reduced them. And the other one to note is the 2000 hertz frequency, aka 2K. I've reduced that significantly as well as I found that this reduces that nasally and high and slightly irritating sound when you hear uh, for the singing, the vocals. Um, because the I actually made some boosts, like I've increased some of the volumes for some of these frequencies, like 707 hertz by about 1.26 decibels. So I'm going to reduce the volume of the entire tr of the, every frequency by neg uh, 3 decibels throughout. So that ultimately none of the, the frequencies are actually boosted compared to the original, you know. It's, everything is just reduced by reduced by how much. So because uh, this is to prevent uh, introducing some noise artifacts and distortion. Okay, so I'll, leave, I'll show you this equalizer setting in a short while. I can skip to this timing of the video to, to, to look at it and just copy it onto your, your app. But I would like to introduce to you a slightly different setting. So I named this a grander vocal fullness. So this is... Um, okay, as you can see, the frequencies from 177 to 354 are slightly higher than the previous one. So it's not reduced by as much. This means there's more of that oomph to the, to the, to the like, especially male vocalists, their singing, their voices, sound fuller, grander, more powerful. But some may find, I found this a little bit slightly inaccurate, a bit more than what you would hear in real life, you know? Yeah, but this setting is useful because it makes the whole music mix sound slightly warmer, less... Um, less, it, re it reduces the... the uh, okay, let me just rephrase. Uh, if you are listening to this and um, to music at night and you are feeling tired, I suggest use this setting instead, as it will, it will be 
more relaxing to listen to if you find the other one slightly tiring to listen to. So the next thing I'm going to introduce is how to tweak some of your Bluetooth settings to get a better sound from your headphone. So this is not necessary, but for those who um, who are very particular about sound quality and you want to hear more detail, you know, you are interested in high-res audio, you want to meddle with this. You want, you want to tweak this setting a bit. So when you press settings here of this Bluetooth device, you, you should turn on LDAC, which is a high-quality audio codec, which means you are able to transmit uh, the music from your phone to your Sony headphone wires wirelessly in an almost lossless format, so you don't, it's not compressed, the uh, sound quality is preserved uh, compared to the APTX or even SBC, the standard Bluetooth codec. The next setting which I would like to introduce is actually found in your Sony headphones app. Okay, um, I think DSE HX Auto, it should be switched on. That, that that uh, should ensure higher sound quality because it may upscale your music but if you don't like that you could also opt to turn it off but the, the one the, something more important is that your sound quality mode be set to priority on sound quality instead of a connection but it's unless you have like let's say like unless your bluetooth keeps falling out then perhaps you have to select the second option but the sound quality will be compromised and i will also recommend to turn off noise cancelling so that you know the speaker, the the driver, the thing that vibrates and creates sound in these headphones, they don't have to do extra work. They don't have to cancel out noise and play your music nicely at the same time. You can just focus to on like you know playing the music for you. Yeah, that's my advice. So thanks very much for watching. And these here are the final settings which you can consider. And I hope you like this video. And I, and do correct me if I've gotten anything wrong or if if let's say you have any feedback on the tuning right because you know it's quite a subjective topic and some of you have different tastes thanks very much and see you the next time